race two is the Arrowfield Keith McKay quality. It's a listed race for the two-year-old fillies over 1,200 metres. Everage is the favourite at $3.30. Major Conquest, $3.50. $13, Little Miss Smiley. I nearly said Little Miss Smelly. It's Smiley. Uh, 17, Quell Butte. Uh, Scrutiny is $5.50. $5, Sunshine Royale. Two Diamond Roses. Oh, don't worry about it. It's big odds. All right, all right. I've got this two horse race. Major Conquest and Sunshine Royale. Uh, Sunshine Royale obviously debuted behind Twilight Royale, who's um, gone to Melbourne won a Group 2 race of size produce down there. Um, horse was pretty green on debut, can improve here. I uh, spoke to David Pfeiffer very briefly as I was running down the escalators at Canterbury yesterday. He said uh, horse was going very, very good. Uh, Major Conquest. Scandiva form line's pretty good. Scandiva's come out and run a cracking race last weekend, really served it up to overreach and, and, and beat that filly home and only got run down by Guelph late. That's the right form line for this. Um, I think in a two-horse race, $3.30 for her is very, very, very good price and she's probably one of the better bets of the day. Well, I'll take the three fifty. I think it's the best bet of the day. Um, three fifty, is it? Sorry, that's it. Yep. Yeah. That run, the form's been frank right through that run in the Magic Night. Uh, Scandiva mm. ran second in the in the size. Your dad ran fourth. Um, Vocalizer had a good opinion of. She had a little setback mm. um, out of that. I sense that after the Magic Night, they just pegged this race for this filly. She had the 21 days. She's drawn the right alley. $3.50. It's a thin race for me. Everage was good the other day. Um... And it just surprised me that Nathan actually got off and said a condition gave right out on her. And she was swamped late. She had a big blow. Seven day back up. She'll be fitter here. Just the 58 kilos worries me. Uh, outside of that, I can see what you're saying. Sunshine Royale, I'd prefer to be on gaze with yep. a run under its belt, uh, giving it two kilos. And scrutiny, yeah, not sure. Not convinced about scrutiny, but want to see it go around, but I think Major Conquest will be winning. I think it's the best bet of the day. Cool. Quite simple. Race three, the Adena Apartment Hotel's Fernhill Handicap. It's a mile race for the two-year-olds as well, uh, and another listed race at that. Um, I'm a Hydro fan. I tipped him in the value. Have we got any markets? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, Furs are 440. Ideal Guide 7. 8, Gracious Prospect. 440 Hydro, Diva D10, right on Q6, 9 Aztec Rose, 17 Artistic Glass. Sorry, right. I'm dropping the ball. Um, yeah, I'm a Hydro fan. I liked him. I thought he had a really good hope in the value. Uh, coming to the corner, I thought, well, this was just going to win. And he just, he's a big bugger, and he just didn't seem to... Want to let down. Mm. Spoke to Nash afterwards when we do the jockey's comments, which are very useful sometimes. He made the point that he said he felt like, he said he got the feel that he was just going to charge straight into it, and he never really gave him everything he had, mm. and he put that down to the slow track. I think with a firmer surface, now that's provided it stays fine in Sydney and they've predicted rain all week, but it hasn't arrived. Um, on a firmer surface, a mile at Ramwick, I think he gets his chance. 4.40, I, I must admit, I, I expected a bit better than that. Yep. I uh, don't know I want to be diving into him at 4.40, but he's the one I'll be backing if I have a bet in the race. Okay. Um, look, I've followed a similar line. I've gone Ideal Guide. Um, the two of them met a couple of starts back, I think, and uh, obviously Hydro won. A little, little weight turnaround. Um, thought Ideal Guide's run last start uh, behind Champillion in the Schweppes was pretty good. Um, and just thought he, he shaped as though he'd be um, pretty well placed over a mile. You never quite know until they run it, I guess, but um, I was happy to have something on him and the other horse in the race that I didn't mind was uh, right on cue. I think was third in that race as well, just a little bit worried about where the horse gets to from barrier one.